Chris Fox here. Today we're going to take a look at the pivot shift test. The purpose of this test is to assess for the integrity of the ACL and MCL, but just some general rotary stability as well. The test, a, a positive finding with this test can indicate someone that can function with, without their ACL as well. However, the results of the test are always a little bit biased because under ideal conditions, when these tests have been performed, typically the patient is under anesthesia. When not under anesthesia, the results are a little bit more mixed. To perform this test, have the patient in supine and bring the hip into flexion with the knee extended. You're going to be palpating the medial joint line with your left hand and grasping onto the tibia, and then your right hand is going to be providing a posterior to anterior direct force through the fibular head. You're going to start by providing a valgus force with those hands through the knee and an internally rotated force through the tibia as well. Ideally, under if this test were indicated, the, the patient would then have their tibia subluxed. Then, once you've achieved that position, you're going to passively bring the patient's knee into flexion. In a positive test, at about 30 degrees of knee flexion, the patient would then have a reduction of the sublux tibia under normal alignment of the tibiofemoral joint at that time. What is happening is that the IT band is bringing the tibia back into proper location.